Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in all data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on data limo regarding pharmacy analytics part two using PostgreSQL and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is easy and this question has been asked in CVS Health interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, CVS Health is trying to better understand its pharmacy sales and how well different products are selling. Each drug can only be produced by one manufacturer. Write a query to find out which manufacturer is associated with the drugs that were not profitable and how much money CVS lost on these drugs. Output the manufacturer, number of drugs and total losses. Total losses should be in absolute value. Display the results with the highest losses on the top. Okay. Uh, so basically this is a pharmacy table with six different columns product id units sold total sales cost of goods sold manufacturer and drug right and this is an example of it so if you look at it right so how do you identify whether a uh, you know a product was at loss so cost of goods if it is more than the total sales obviously you are not in profit right you are in loss so this one is uh, in loss uh, this one is in loss this one is again in loss but this one is in profit right because cost of goods sold is less than the total sales right so basically if you look at it these three products uh, manufactured by biogen fv and le lily uh, are in loss and then what do you need to do you need to subtract these values and see what which uh, you know uh, which product has the maximum number of loss and you order by that in decreasing manner because that is what we need right in the display the results with the highest losses on the top so basically what we need to do is from this table called pharmacy sales we should only keep those rows where cost of goods sold is greater than total sales right because we are only concerned with the lost products right so let's write where cost of goods sold is greater than total sales once you keep only those rows then we what we need to do is for each of the manufacturer we need to output okay number of drugs that that are in loss and what is the total loss so if we group by the manufacturer and then count the number of product ids right distinct product ids we can get the number of drug counts right so we write group by manufacturer right group by the manufacturer uh, return the manufacturer right so return the manufacturer then count the distinct product id right because it says how many uh, products for this particular manufacturer are in loss right so count distinct product id and let's alias this as what is required in the output so as drug count right so as drug count we also need to make sure that we return the total loss right so since we grouped by the manufacturer we can sum up the total loss so sum of cogs minus total sales or you can use the function absolute right you can do whatever uh, that does not matter uh, so sum of cogs cost of goods sold minus total sales right why is this going to work because since we are only keeping those rows where cost of goods sold is greater than total sales right so this is going to give you the absolute value because cogs or cost of goods sold is always going to be greater than total sales right because of this condition and then you can al alias this as total loss right the work is not done here the question also said we need to order this by total loss in decreasing manner right results with highest losses on top so we write order by total loss in decreasing manner okay so now i think this looks good let me go ahead and run this let's see what we are getting so now we have you know johnson johnson six uh, drugs are in losses and this is the total loss similarly for le lily biogen fv etc let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah, this is accepted and this is how we do it again not a very difficult question all we had to do was you know from this table called pharmacy sales we only kept those rows where there is a loss so the way to do that is cost is greater than sales and then we grouped by manufacturer counted the number of products that are in loss and calculated the total loss across all those products and ordered by total loss in decreasing manner so yeah this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video